Man, Kodak Black. Prime example of you damned if you do, you damned if you don't. A brother does a good deed and gets chastised for it. What in the world is that? But hey, let's dig into it. Walk with me. Once again, thank y'all for tuning in. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and when you subscribe, hit that notification bell so that every time I drop a video, you will be the first to be notified. Hey, today, it's a Monday, it's a national holiday, but I felt I had to bring this story to you because I try to bring a feel good story Anytime I drop a video on Monday, and this is a perfect topic. Today's topic is about rapper Kodak Black. Now, Kodak Black has been mainly been in the news about doing stuff, you know, doing some throw it out stuff that people might think, might consider throw it out. You remember when Brother Nipsey Hussle, after he was murdered, and Laura London, you know, was single. He made some crazy comment about her being single out there and that he might want to press up on her. But then he went back and retracted. But you know what? But this video is not about any of the bad things he do. This is about the good thing, and we're going to stick to that. So, the story is about Kodak Black donates AC units to the housing project residence, the former housing project that he uh, lived in. I'm going to read my notes. You know, give you my take on the complete story. So, say here on July 3rd, the rapper went to its former housing project, Golden Acres, in Pompano Beach, Florida, in a U-Haul truck and delivered about 100 AC units, which they say was valued around $23,000. He's quoted as saying, we love to give back in any shape or form. I remember growing up in these same projects and stuff. It's hot right now. The heat will bring a little frustration. Sometimes that causes people to act out, which is true because if you just, I mean, if you, if you talk to anyone, especially older people, anybody at all, they'll tell you, man, when, it, when the summertime hit, people act a fool. Statistics will show you that, you know, crime goes up in the summertime. People got free time, it's hot, they're outside. I mean, for some reason, I don't know, some click in their brain and people just act out when that when that heat go, when that heat, you know, it rises. He said, I remember when I had to take from people. See? So now that I'm blessed enough to give back, that's what I like to do. And you know what? I'm gonna get his brother hand cut praise for that because you know I was it brings back, I had a thought. Maybe actually this morning, what I was thinking, like, you know, people always say they're in the hood, they're always in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Some people not in the hood, so that make them not real or whatever. But then the question is, what are you doing when you're in the hood? Are you doing things to make your neighborhood better? If not, then it's like, what you bragging about? There's no need to brag about it, you just hanging out, not being, you know, bringing positive, you know, influence especially to the kids of the neighborhood or being pop being a positive positive influence of where the older people can say hey there still is a chance with the youth today because they're, they're giving back and they're trying to make the neighborhood better and that's exactly what this young brother is doing now it says here also that last month he was honored by his hometown when Broward County Commissioner Dale Holson declared June 11, Kodak Black Day, which subsequently is also his birthday. And this was done during a ceremony at a charity basketball game. They say he has in the past hosted food drives throughout Florida. He also paid tuition for three children of two FBI agents killed while serving a search warrant. 
And while he was incarcerated, he was done a four-year bid on some, I could believe it was some weapons charges. I'm not completely, you know, sure. But he vowed that if Donald Trump, former President Donald Trump, would pardon him, he would uh, give a million dollars to different charities within the first year. And one reason why, one of the main reasons why Donald Trump pardoned him was because of all his charitable efforts, you know, up until the point he got incarcerated. <coughs> he got incarcerated. And that's one thing people don't, that's one story that, 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 that was not put out into the mainstream media, was that Kodak Black does char charitable things in the community to help the community. And that's why Donald Trump pardoned him. The mainstream media will make you think Donald Trump is crazy and he pardoned a young crazy rapper who can't do right, who, who does dumb stuff. Which I mean, hey, he's young. He's trying, he's he's still trying to figure life out as a young man. You know, science will tell you that the human brain doesn't really start to fully develop until like the age of 25. So truthfully, before then, you really not grown. And you know, they say man really ain't grown until he's in his 30s. So you got a kid who's fighting demons between what he know and then what he's trying to know. And I mean, you gotta, sometimes you gotta give him, you know, you got to give a brother credit for trying, you know, and it's like, and it looks like he's on a path, on the right path. Now, will he make more mistakes in the future? Who knows, you know, but as long as he's putting an effort to do right, man, you gotta commend that brother for it. I also said September, this past September 3rd, this past Friday, what have you, he, uh, Help. He was part of a concert in Miami to help raise funds to help the devastation, devastated people in Haiti after that earthquake in August, in August, which killed about 2,300 people. So with all that said, you always got some people you just can't make happen, and then you wonder, you wonder why people act the way they do. So in this part of the story, it says Pompano Beach. Authority, which is a housing authority, filed a cease and desist order claiming that Kodak Black and his crew caused disturbance while shooting a music video and blasting music loudly. The documents quote were quoted as saying, Your actions have adversely impacted the property's residents' right to peacefully enjoy the property. Kodak Black's attorney said it was sad and shameful that they were trying to stop this charitable donation in the middle of a brutal summer and a pandemic. And see, what's also known the story is that while Kodak Black was doing this, he uh, was videotaping, you know, himself doing it. Now, a lot of people say, well, hey, you know, when you do charity, man, you're supposed to be humble. You're not supposed to, you know, video video you know she should, should record yourself shouldn't got there boasting about what you're doing but you know in the bible that's what it's that's how you, you know that's how you're supposed to do it be humble don't look for accolades for what you're doing which is true but america makes it hard for a person to live by the scriptures on a lot of notes on a lot of points and this is no exception because a brother do something bad and they'll blast it on the airwaves. Morning news. The, the, the noon, news at, at noon. The afternoon news. The evening news. The 10 o'clock news. If you did something, get arrested for guns, for smoking weed or something, you know, beating up a fan. Oh, uh, what else? No, what have you? It'd be plastered all over their ways without hesitation. But the guy has food drives in his in his state, in his home state. And we ain't hear about that down here in Texas. The dude is part of a charity basketball event. We ain't hear about that down here in Texas. The guy gives out air conditioning. We didn't hear about that down here in Texas. I, I had to hear, actually, 
Shout out to Willie D. That's where, this is where I first saw the story. But then I looked it up and researched and saw a couple of different articles talking about it. And it was a trip because, you know, it was on like the XXL magazine, you know, TMZ, and that's it. I mean, there are other news outlets that have done like online, like local news outlets in Florida. But like I say, this wasn't a national story, like big national story on, on everybody's local news. And so when when you have to deal with stuff like that, it's hard, especially, you know, when everything people try to portray you as being negative, it's hard. Not to sit there and say, hey, when I do something good, you better say something about it. It's like, shoot, like being on a job. You be on the job, man, you do a good job, you rarely hear about it. But make one mistake, you know what I'm saying? Boss man supervisors coming at you real quick. So I'll be the one to say, hey, I heard you about this. I messed up. Okay, fine. But when I go above and beyond, I better hear the same thing. You better have the same manager. It's only fair. So like I said, I can't knock him for recording himself doing it, whether it's for accolades or just doing it just so, you know, for his fans or whatever, just doing it just so he can have a, you know, just a historical moment, you know? I mean, it's all good to me. But back to the the, the, old, the housing authority. Dude, how you going to do a cease and desist letter? First of all, I believe falsely claiming that he was shooting a music, music video because of the, 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 the uh, attorney said they wasn't shooting a music video. He was just shooting a video showing what he was doing. And the attorney said he wasn't playing the music live. He was just playing music, just playing music like normal. But it's like, how you gonna stop a brother from trying to pass out air conditioning? And I think it goes back to the old adage of follow the money. You follow the money and it'll tell you all the answers you need to know about pretty much anything in the world. Now the housing authority is in charge of what? Helping to provide funds for low income people who that you know have a hard time paying their paying rent. So think about projects, a lot of these projects, you know, all bills paid. I mean, you may have to pay like water, maybe, but a lot of times all bills paid, or a lot of times electricity, you know, is, is low. So they got a certain amount of funds that they get. So brother go in, put in a hundred AC units. That's going to kick up that electric bill. Now you got, like I say, you got these apartments that's probably the AC, the heating unit is probably water-based. So it's really piss poor. You know, I, I've been in apartments like that. They say, oh, you gotta wait till the water cool down and the AC kick in. Or when it's hot, when it's cold outside, you gotta wait till the, 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 the furnace or the water to heat up. And so the, so, so the heat heater kick in. But it's all bull corn, you know, it's, but it never kicks in. And then you sitting there with the oven open, open trying to stay, stay warm at night. And they tell you, oh, don't do that. It was like, well, how in the hell are we supposed to stay warm when it's 32 degrees outside? It was like freezing outside. How are we supposed to stay warm? And they don't care. And everybody that stay in low-income housing ain't drug addicts or people who just sitting around trying to live off a check. A lot of us needed it to start out. And then you got a lot of older people who need it, who need it because they don't have much money. So you can't sort of sit there and punish, you know what I'm saying, law bottom tax paying citizens and try to put them in the same category as people who, who maybe, you know, don't want to work or drug addicts, gang bangers or people, you know, who know selling dope out your apartment. Putting all these people in the same category is wrong. You need to have a better vetting process. But you want that money, so you're not going to just kick out anybody. You're going to take all the comers because the government going to give you that money. But when somebody like Kodak Black comes back around and say, look, you ain't doing right by my people, so I'm about to do right by my people. Now you got a problem. And that's the screwed up part about this whole story. Because, like I say, the most a lot of I, I, I believe I was willing to bet. I'm willing to bet that a lot of these residents don't pay electric bills 
in that apartment. Because if they did, they wouldn't care about you passing out the AC units because the residents are paying that. You understand what I'm saying? They're gonna pay electric bills. But you putting, you know, like I said, AC units, them sun guns put a lot of electricity. I know it's hot in Florida. I know it's humid in Florida. Especially the closer you get to that water, Florida, Texas, Louisiana, I know about them places. Them places get humid real quick. So the AC gotta kick a little harder. Somebody gotta pay that bill. But they can't come out and say that because then they'll look like bad guys. So what they can say is, hey, cease and desist, because when you come out here, you causing disturbance. That man causing a good disturbance. Shut the hell up. But anyway, that's all I got on this story. Back to Kodak Black. Shout out, hand type of praise, salute to the young brother for helping, going back and helping out his people in a good way, in a time of need. Not waiting on the government, not waiting on the churches, not waiting on any organization, no charity organizations to come through and help our black people, which what a lot of us do is to sit here and wait and think that the government and the church and all these organizations, these charities are gonna come and help us out and they never do. And we go through the same cycle every day. But this brother broke the cycle. He broke the cycle and it caused a problem. And that's a good thing. But hey, as always, again, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you want to help to support this channel financially, man, go to the description box. Click on a link to my website to buy some merchandise. We got a YouTube channel. Click that TubeBuddy channel, that TubeBuddy link, and it'll help you stream, make it easier for you to create and produce and promote your channel. Make it a whole lot easier than you trying to do it on your own. And with that being said, I'll leave you guys the same way I came. Peace.